Hey everybody, it's Kevin here. I wanted to talk today about what's in my DJ backpack. Now I know a lot of DJs have put videos online about what they carry with them to gigs and events and what they carry with them in their backpack. So I think that is a great way to kind of get to know somebody a little bit better and also to pick up a few tips. So I'll walk through what's in my backpack and you guys might pick up a tip or two yourselves. Now I use the Jetpack backpack and this is the Prime. I love this thing. It's uh, been with me for a couple years now and uh, it just, you can tell it's definitely filled up. It's filled for sure. And it's, it's pretty heavy, but it's got everything that I need in here and more. So I'm gonna walk through the contents of my DJ backpack. Now, first, on the side pockets, I'll kind of show you guys, I've been taking these due to the pandemic, just like some disinfectant wipes. Uh, this is great just to kind of set on my, my little table or off to the side, and if I need to wipe down a mic or really do anything uh, to clean off, disinfect something, a surface perhaps for my guests, that's a quick grab, no problem. And on the other side of this pouch, I keep a Yeti cup. And this has been great basically to, you know, of course, take and keep myself hydrated, but I can just take this and put some ice in it before I leave for my event and close it up. And I don't put any liquid in it. It will keep the ice from melting until I'm ready to put some liquid into it. Uh, let's say fill it with water or whatever. So, all right. Also, on the top of this guy, there's a little bitty secret pouch here. And I just usually, I don't keep much in here. Just like little earplugs. And uh, sometimes my car key, I'll put in there. Okay, so, let's get into the meat of this thing. The front pocket, and these, these zippers are super heavy duty. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're very well made and I've never had a problem with them like snagging or getting stuck like you do with some, some backpacks or some bags. And these open fully like, so you really can kind of unhinge this and I'm trying to keep this in shot for you. Okay. So what do I keep in here? Lots of stuff. Uh, first, these two, these two bags, uh, these are my microphones that I take to every gig. And so this is a Shure uh, wireless Beta 58A head. So I use this with my um, QLXD transmitter. I also have a another Shure handheld, this is just the SM48 mic. So uh, this is just my little handheld, uh, I'm sorry, my uh, wired mic that I put um, on my controller. I've got that little gooseneck. If you guys have seen my videos of my, um, my setup, basically I've got this gooseneck and I just attach that and that becomes my mic all night. So I use that for um, addressing the crowd. Okay, so how to break this down best. Right here in the front, you can see a bit of a controller peeking out. This is the DDJ 200. So I keep this in my DJ backpack. And how awesome is that, that you can take around an extra controller? Anyway, I take this around as backup. And also, um, I'll explain this a little later, but I basically have everything I need in this backpack to do a gig if I, if I only brought the backpack. That sounds kind of strange, but I've got everything in here and I'll show you the components to build that. But I also, with pieces like this, I have a component backup system. So anything fails on my main setup, I can basically recreate it and keep the gig moving. So what else is in here? Um, every DJ needs a mixer. <laughs> so this is just a small mixer that uh, I keep in here in case, again, if I need to do something with, uh, if I have a massive outage or I lose my controller board, I still have this, 
I've got my controller and I've got other components that I can piece together in a, in a pinch to keep the show going and keep things rocking. So um, that mixer's in here. Also, I have just a couple cables. So for that wired mic that you saw in there, I've got an XLR cable and I've got a power cable for the external mixer here, the little Yamaha mixer. And this, this guy goes with my DDJ 200. It's just a headphone splitter. Um, this also um, could be used with other, other components. Okay, cool. That's it for that part of the, of the bag. And this, this pouch, this pocket, very big. It could definitely hold something even larger than what I'm using it for, but it's perfect for what I need. I'm gonna show you this part now. This is the inside of the front. So here's the, the front. And uh, you kind of see these little three pockets. Okay, so I'll show you what's in here. Basically, you probably could see some business cards. So just some extras. I keep um, even more in here, I'll show you. I also have this little uh, backup power brick. So this is just for if my iPhone dies or if something like my iPad goes out, this can help me with that. And then a couple AA batteries, just in case I forget and I need one, I need a couple for my wireless mic um, if I forget to bring some. So my little emergency power right there in this little pouch. My other little pouch here, some other little sundries. So, I've got a pair of scissors, which have come in handy. Actually, a lot of times brides and grooms or um, the mother of the bride or something will be running around doing something and they're always looking for scissors. And anyway, these come in handy. And of course, they also come in handy for me if I need to um, cut through some nasty gaff tape or who knows what's going on. Um, I've got some various sundry things in here, some insect repellent for, I guess, outside stuff. One of these guys, this is great. My dad turned me on to this. This is like a, a little headlight LED lamp. So you do this and turn it on and and you can like, you know, look around hands-free. This is great if you guys are doing like um, events in the dark, like, I don't know, in a backyard or, it, 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 you know, it, at night where there's, you know, not a lot of ambient light. That's a great little uh, tool to help you clean up or whatever. What else is in here? Uh, <laughs> another pair of backup batteries. Uh, chapstick, of all things. I think my wife talked me into throwing a thing of chapstick in there. A little deodorant. This is, uh, has been a savior for me. And actually, not so much for me, I usually remember, but I had a, um, a party once, and the, it was a graduation party, and uh, the a guest of honor was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to wear deodorant. And he actually was just, he was uh, pretty rank. Anyway, I was like, dude, go wipe off. Go, here you go, take this. And I gave him a, my old, you know, a stick of this. And he went and, and uh, cleaned up, which was good. And then, uh, you know, you can buy these at the grocery store for just a, a dollar or something. So easily, t easy to replace, but it kind of saved the day. I got a couple multi-tools. Um, just a couple multi-tools for whatever I might run into. Also, um, a pen, an extra pen. And this is this is a good uh, tip for, I don't know, uh, DJs that do weddings and other things, a pair of black socks. Because sometimes I'm showing up in shorts and, you know, uh, cotton socks or whatever. I don't wanna, you know, gym shoes, whatever. I don't wanna dress up and load in with my wedding clothes on. So uh, in any case, I uh, bring these because one time I forgot them and I did not have black black socks and I had to run down to a Walgreens of all places to get some right at the last minute. And you don't wanna ever get anything in the last minute. So I, I figured this would be a critical thing uh, to add to my little emergency kit. One idea that I really liked from uh, Nick Spinelli who recently did a, a walkthrough of what he's got in his backpack and he had a, a little first aid medical kit. I really like that idea. Um, he also um, 
He also had a tile in his in his backpack, which is one of those GPS locator items. I love that idea as well. So I'm going to copy those tips. That's the uh, that's all that's in this part of the bag. So I'm going to close this up, and then I'm going to switch over to the middle section of the bag. So you can kind of see if you look at the top, you've got this front section, middle, and then the back. And the back's, of course, where the straps are. And uh, it's even got one of these pouches for, uh, you know, if you wanted to take it with a suitcase, you can kind of put this, put the handle um, under here and carry everything in one go. But I'm gonna go ahead and break down what's in, a, in the middle of my jet pack. All right. So as I open this up, you can kind of see, uh, maybe you see a little bit in there. Um, and this also opens, not all the way flat, but pretty well. And I love the, in, the orange interior here. It's real super easy to see, like especially in the dark or dimly lit areas, it's easy to see and pick everything out. So first you can kind of see here, Jetpack has this great headphone little bag. It's like a little elastic and net bag and it's great for your headphones. So I keep my Pioneer headphones folded up and right in there. Perfect little spot for that. And some other things, some breath mints, definitely a must have. Um, I've got some hand sanitizer. So that's just for me. I keep, I kind of keep that handy and usually keep it out so I can access it quickly. Some Advil, which definitely if you're having a long night or you have some uh, aches and pains from, from whatever, that's good to have. And also some, some Tums, um, Rolades, I guess. They're running a little low. Probably need some more of those. But just some little essentials, not so much of a full medical kit, but just a couple little things just in case. Um, also down in here, a little Kleenex pack and a little booklet. I used to use this a lot more than I do. It's just a little paper notebook. Um, I used to use this a lot to like write down notes or song requests, um, pen that goes with it. Um, but I've been doing less of that. I've been usually keeping notes on my um, printed plan sheet. So as I go to an event, I bring a paper plan sheet printed out and I've been just making notes on that and that's been great. So um, also with COVID on this side of my backpack, I keep this folio. This is just another notebook, just with regular paper in it. I put this out and grab a couple pens, um, either here in my bag or I'll, I've got a couple extra in my bag or I'll put some out. Um, you know, from the venue or whatever, if it's a hotel, they'll have some pens. And I'll put that out on a little table on the side and I'll um, uh, basically direct folks to write down their song requests. So they're not shouting at me across the DJ booth or, you know, uh, across my uh, facade and, you know, spitting at me, spewing germs and all that good stuff. So that's been good. That's been a good tip that I picked up somewhere. Okay, what else is in here? All right, there's two little pockets. I don't know, um, you can see these are great. So I keep a roll of gaff tape. Um, looks like I need another roll in here, but usually when I get to about this point, um, I just replace it uh, or bring another roll so I can use this up too. And I always keep an extra roll, it's a good uh, tip, always keep an extra roll in your car. So if you run out, you can have some. But you guys, I don't know, sometimes I'm doing a gig and I don't need but maybe two or three little strips of gaff tape. It just works out that way. So don't always need it, but always good to have it. And then also in here is a business card holder. So, um, and I, it's just a metal card holder. I, I found it like Office Depot. And I just keep this and I set this out front uh, right on my DJ table. And of course, um, make sure to point people to it when they ask, hey, do you have a card, man? You're awesome. I wanna, uh, I wanna book you for so-and-so. I point them to the card holder. Okay. Um, and then also in here, I have a Beats pill. And this little guy is just a um, battery powered 
um, uh, speaker that I use for a couple different things. One is it's sort of like my little backup for ceremony. So I take it out to my ceremony sites in case I lose my big speaker for some reason, at least I could, it wouldn't sound great, but I could, you know, jam out their recessional music with this guy. Also, it's a great monitor. I've been using this as a monitor and I just kind of sit it. Um, if you've seen my, my other video about my DJ case mod, I just use this to project the sound back at me and it's so good and you obviously it's super light and holds a great charge and I can use this um, instead of having a big monitor speaker. It works really well. So it, it's been a great tip, uh, great thing for me, a great tool for me. Um, third thing that the Beats Pill does is I mentioned before that I can go and do a gig with just this bag. Um, I could, I could do a very small gig. I have everything I need. I have a controller, I have my laptops. I have everything I need. I have all the cables, a microphone, mixer. So I'm good to go with just this bag. That's pretty cool. Um, not that I'm going to do anything big or a party, but I certainly could do something like go to a hotel or go on a, go on vacation with my family and take some of the, this gear in this bag and have a little, you know, practice session or whatever. Uh, okay, cool, moving on. There's one more pocket in this area and it's a little zipper pocket. And in here I keep um, a cable that is just, this is like, I just want a quick access to this cable because it, uh, it means a lot to me because it is a um, eighth inch phono. I've got a little eighth inch to quarter inch adapter on it. And um, also in here, I believe I have a little lightning cable too. Yeah, a little eighth inch to lightning. So with this cable right here, I can pretty much take any source. I can take my laptop, I can take, um, a phone, I can take my iPhone, I can take my iPad, and I can plug it into a mixer that takes uh, quarter inch connections. So this is important for my little uh, setup here in the bag, or if I needed a quick patch, okay? It's always good to have emergency backup plan, number two and number three, okay? So I got this, and then I think um, also just some pens. I mentioned I've been doing the um, directing guests to write out their song requests. Um, yeah. And that's been working okay. It's not like, I, I, I miss just, you know, I love to converse with the guests. So I, I haven't used it too religiously, but it's there if I need it. Okay, one more thing, and this is my laptop. And this is my main laptop. This bag's so amazing. I, I have a whole other like laptop bag inside my bag. So this um, is just like an HP bag that holds my, I'll move this out of the way for a second. This is just an HP bag. I love it because look, check it out. It's got a nice little handle. It's got a cool little nice pocket here, all lined and, and silky and I don't know what that material is, but it, it, I've got all my cables and everything I need, power adapter, headphones, little notebook just in case, little notepad. And then of course my laptop. So it's cool, and this is my main DJ laptop. What's cool about this, it fits the PowerBook 15 really well, uh, 15 inch screen really well. But it's got this zipper that just unzips on the top. So I put this in my jetpack backpack and I just, I got quick access. I don't even need to get the bag out. I just pulled the laptop out after unzipping it. So really cool, really, really cool, okay. That is the middle section of this beast. And there's one other little section here in the back. And this section actually does uh, open up and it's it's a little bit thin, thinner than the other pieces, but, and I keep usually three main things in here. One is this bag. And as soon as I get to, to the event, when I get out of my car, I take this bag out and I take this with me. So this goes with me, this stays away from this bag because this, move it over. This is just a bag that contains my backup MacBook. So this is like a 13 inch model and it contains a mirror image of my other laptop. So everything on it, all my music, all you know, the software settings, everything's on this. 
So I wanna keep this away in case I lose this bag. If I lose this whole setup and I have this, I can, if I've got my case, I still can rock the party. Um, I would be freaking out, but you know, I'd still rock the party. This is a great little bag. Um, it's just a little Targus bag, but it helps keep this laptop nice and safe and I can carry it around with me. I can use that laptop as well for ceremony, cocktail, whatever I want. Also in this section, a little towel, little terry cloth towel in, in case it's a, if it's an outside event or something, um, I might sweat a little bit. So it's nice to have that to dab the old forehead, get the, sh get the shine off. <laughs> uh, okay, then this is just my iPad. And the iPad is used for a couple different things. Um, uh, the biggest thing is to control my light setup. So I'm sure I'll be making a video on my light setup here in a little bit. But also this has a copy of all my music on it. Um, so it's, uh, this becomes another backup and you can kind of see a theme here. I, I have backups upon backups, which uh, it's important to me. I definitely do not want a massive failure that I, I could have prevented um, to wreck an event. Any case, I think that does it for the Jetpack review. Um, I know that it probably wasn't all that exciting, and certainly um, if you're a mobile DJ, you probably have similar things uh, in your backpack, but I always find it very neat to see what people use and what people have and take with them because it gives me ideas about what I should be taking with me or maybe um, another way to, uh, to enhance my process. So in any case, hopefully that helps. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.